Well, we have a very exciting day today as we are bringing in a rather large excavator and flattening out this entire terrace. We'll explain why a little bit later, but by the end of this video, this property will look very different. So last week as we were digging out the house, we had a bunch of rocks pulled out onto this terrace and now they're actually a bit in the way because we need to bring the excavator through. So we are going to first move those out of the way. So it really is quite amazing having this motorized wheelbarrow here. Um, I don't know if you remember back to when we were first digging out the house, we could barely move one of these giant stones at a time. And now because we have this, we can move five or six at once with really no effort. Well, we're back to uh, using heavy equipment today. Andrea brought a, um, a 60 quintale excavator, which I think that's six tons for the uh, Imperial Separatists who are watching right now. Uh, we are digging a massive area today. We have a huge area to clear, and by the looks of it, a lot of rock to hammer through. So we expect this problem of things being in the way to be a constant trend over the next six months or so because these terraces are actually quite narrow and we need to have room to store all of our materials and things that we're bringing in as well as having large machinery kind of be able to move in and out. This is where Andrea's skills as a digger really start to shine. His specialty is with big diggers, big excavators, working on big projects such as this. And to see his expertise of digging out and separating out the dirt from the stone and knowing how to treat the hard rock from the soft rock, the renata, which I, I don't know the English word for that. Uh, it, it's impressive to watch like honestly his technique in digging I don't really know how to describe it He'll use the edge of the bucket to scrape slowly through the renata get digging back Very carefully making sure that the wall is still supported properly by what's underneath it But then aggressively go after other areas and I had actually considered renting and doing this myself because it's an easy space to work in but after seeing his skills in just the first hour I'm very, very impressed and glad that I hired a professional.
There are a couple reasons why we are digging this terrace out right now. The main reason in this moment that we need to do this at this time is because we need it to be a staging area as we bring in supplies. So this terrace is very narrow and sloped so nothing really fits back here and we're having sand and cement and all sorts of other things delivered like insulation. Those are all things that are going to be coming in the near future and we need a place to put them. But in the long term, this spot is actually going to be where we are going to have our outdoor kitchen, our seating area. So we're actually digging down to make it flat and digging back into the mountain. So we have room for these supplies now. And then later we're going to have this as the heart of the property where we spend the majority of our time. Cento sessanta sei, cento sessantotto, cento sessanta cinque. Perfetto. We'll come out um, 20 centimeters, yes. but then first we'll dig a little bit underneath the maybe ditchy. On this side right here, we're actually digging, man, that's probably what, four meters deep? and we're gonna push back which is really really exciting i'm for the first time getting to experience how much space we'll have on the property this is going to be the main area for hosting the main area for our outdoor kitchen our outdoor patio and it was always very small before and hard to picture but now that we're getting a flat area i'm, I'm just so so excited a couple of days ago we actually came out to see if there were any water lines here unfortunately they are plastic lines, so we can't quite tell exactly where they are, but we did confirm there is a water line running right through this entire area that we're digging. We don't expect it to be very deep, and there is no possible way for us to shut off the water. It's really a situation of if, it, if we catch it and it breaks, then we will have to figure out how to deal with that and shut it off later. So we're kind of all just kind of crossing our fingers that we don't end up breaking something and then flooding this area. It's so cool to watch him work right now. He is taking all of the large stones that he finds and stacking them up against this area to prevent any debris from, from falling down the terrace. And these stones are pretty epic. I know that this area right here is gonna scare a lot of people. It's hard to tell on camera. Let me see if I can get to a spot where you can see what's going on here. We are scraping down this bankment right here. That is a stone wall sitting on top of Renata. And we're kind of scraping down away from it in order to dig as far back here as possible. It's a little, it's a little nerve wracking, but this is right here, pretty solid stone that we are dealing with. So we're not too concerned about the stone wall sitting on top of it. As with everything we are doing, we are seeking the advice of structural engineers. They've had no issue with it. It can sit like this for a very, very long time and then eventually we will come back with all of the stone that we are collecting from digging, shape that up and actually build a very tall, probably four meter wall of stone that sits beneath the existing two meter wall. So Andre just asked us to go and grab his uh, jackhammer for the excavator because he's about ready to switch from digging with the bucket to jackhammering out the stone. He more or less blocked himself in because as he's digging, he's stacking up the stones that he finds. And he asked if I would go grab the jackhammer and we 
tried our best for a good half an hour to lift that thing until I looked at the label and realized that it weighs 600 kilograms, which I think is like 1,300 pounds, so we could barely lift it more than two inches off the ground. We tried our best to move it, but he's just gonna have to come and pick it up with the excavator. All of this is starting to get really real really fast. Over lunch, we went to the local supply shop and got over 60 bags of cement. We're now offloading those and Andrea just switched from his bucket to the jackhammer and he's beginning to cut back into the mountain. about the uh, the vibrations um, that's a uh, 600 kilogram hammer I didn't have a chance to ask him the force it puts out but it's uh, shaking the house even though it's we're digging quite a ways outside of the house the rock connects obviously to the house and it is shaking the house a good bit so we wanted to dig pretty close to the house because eventually this whole entire area will be flattened but the more we feel the house and feel the effects of that 600 kilogram hammer, the more it's just not feeling quite safe to do right now. We can do it later um, once the once the cordolo, once the uh, cement ring around the house has been poured. That will keep the house stabilized through the digging process. Later, we'll dig more for more space. Metro sí. Nessun allora, problema perché uno è 65, ma Roma ha detto allora Magrone 10, anche 5, it's good. Sì, ma And meno uh, Magrone um, sì, è sì, meno Magrone tanto è buono. Sì, sì. Sì. So I've spent most of the day out here supervising, which is just code for me watching and standing in awe. Honestly, Andrea is extremely talented with his digging capabilities. I keep watching him using different techniques for different areas, and I'm just honestly blown away. I'm very thankful I found him. I talk to a lot of different companies, and anytime they have a tricky digging project or something that's too big, he's the guy. So I went straight to the guy, and I'm glad I did. Obviously, just like before, we are getting a ton of stone, but what's different about this stone is the sheer size of these stones. You can use them for a table or to make a, a large bench. But one in particular that I found would make for a great old style sink, something that we could carve out the center of it and maybe use it outdoor for an outdoor kitchen. But regardless of what we do with these stones, I'm very excited to be stacking up a massive pile of building stones. So we have just finished up and uh, this transformation is pretty extreme. We now have a giant pile of dirt that we've raised up temporarily keeping this here, but it does allow us to envision how it's gonna be in the future. I'm loving this. It's really incredible because we pictured what it would be like to have this all flattened out, but it's really hard to imagine because it's just been this giant slope. So to see this and actually to have this kind of flattened area is it's really really cool and it makes me really excited 
for what it will be in the future. So I know it's kind of hard to appreciate on camera and to know what's changed, but this entire level has raised up, I would say a meter and a half, about four and a half, five feet. And it honestly, it changes the view dramatically. You wouldn't think that that would do very much, but it raises you up a little bit above the tree line a little bit and gives you a much more beautiful view than we had before. So yes, this dirt is just here very temporarily, um, but we plan on keeping it here somewhat permanently. We're looking at a couple different options of how to keep that. We went and looked at another property that more or less just made a series of terraces to keep all of the dirt. And we're also looking into the paperwork of just building an entirely new terrace to store all of the dirt that we have now and more coming in the future. The reason why is because for some reason in Italy, removing the dirt from your property is astronomically expensive. You might as well buy a new house. So <laughs> removing the dirt is not an option for us. So we're simply gonna find other ways to keep it on the property, which we have plenty enough space. We just need to build a couple of retaining walls out of the stones that we have found in order to store the dirt. We of course have more digging to do to bring this to a final state and to flatten everything out. And we're gonna dig back further into the mountain, but we're saving that for a later date once the interior of the house has been secured a little bit better. And then of course we will have to build a new stone retaining wall that matches what we have above here that keeps this secure. For now, leaving this as it is is perfectly fine. We've talked to an engineer and it's strong enough and stable enough to stay for several years to come until we build that retaining wall. Well, that's gonna do it for this week, but starting tomorrow, we're bringing up a ton of sand, cement, and other building supplies because it's time to start pouring cement inside the house.